Hello everyone, welcome back to American Seconds. Today we're going to do an unboxing and a short review of this Bisgrip 155X anamorphic lens, which uh, promises to offer us a 276 by 1 ultra wide screen ratio, which I guess is going to be pretty cool. But before any thoughts, let's just go ahead and unbox this guy, see what's inside, and then we will talk some more. So this is how the box looks like. Let's just go ahead and break the seal off. First of all, we have a small uh, bag to carry the lenses and a um, small cloth made with the Bisgrip logo on it to make sure that we have the lenses clean every time we're ready to shoot. And then the lenses themselves, which are in this very hard sort of sponge, which is a very protective material. Let's just take them out. And uh, on both sides, they have some protective caps, which is really nice. This is the front side of the lens. They're made out of a very steady and nice material, some sort of uh, black um, aluminium probably and that's the back side which has to be perfectly aligned with the phone's camera so let's just go ahead and remove the front cap this is how they look like so this is the carrying bag which is pretty nice they throw this inside the lenses are fitting perfectly in it's good for transportation just to protect them from scratches and other sorts of similar damages but um, I guess I would prefer to transport them in this sort of very hard sponge because uh, it offers more like uh, a shock protection obviously the sponge would absorb some shocks if we would drop them or anything like that. One of the two ways that uh, these lenses uh, can be used within the Bisgrip ecosystem is the Bisgrip Pro. Of course you can use either the Cage or the Bisgrip Pro. I chose the Bisgrip Pro because it is very versatile. You can, you can mount basically any phone with the cage you have to buy the cage which is specific for your phone but if you have the Bisgrip Pro mounting the lenses is very very easy of course depending on the phone that you're using and the lenses of the phone that you want to use for that particular shot of course you unscrew and here and you you uh, can adjust the position of the lenses both vertically and horizontally the lenses have a 58 millimeter uh, filter mount here so any uh, filter 58 millimeter filter will fit here and it's uh, again very easy to mount and unmount the tricky part with using the lenses on the Bisgrip Pro is the perfect alignment. If the lenses are not perfectly, perfectly aligned, then you will get a big distortion of the end result image. And of course, this is not what you want. If you want a perfect alignment without groping in the dark, then you should go for the cage because that's going to offer you a perfect alignment. More than that, what you need to keep in mind is that these lenses will give you at least a uh, at least a 20 percent distortion of the image so you have to keep this in mind and work around this distortion of course the final result will have to be edited sometimes heavily edited to be able to get that beautiful uh, dramatic epic uh, uh, image cinematic image that we're longing for I didn't want to uh, put in this review any of my samples simply because the result is going to be all up 
to you. I didn't put here in this review any samples of mine simply because we have so many variables. You have to keep in mind that this is not like a mountain go, that's it. No, it, it takes patience and adjustment to be able to get exactly what you want. When you have the footage, you have to put it in the computer and work around the distortion and edit the footage so that the end result will be exactly what you want. Of course, you can go on the Bscript uh, website and look at their samples, what they shot with these lenses and what they came up with. But again, keep in mind, this is something that will take time to adjust, to learn how to use in order to get the final result that you want. Final thoughts. Is it worth the buck? It's 175 on the Bscript um, website. They sell these lenses offering the shipping for free, 30 days return, which is very nice. You can just take them and uh, uh, experiment a little bit and see if these lenses are for you or not. But again, I want to stress this thought. This is not just a mount and go. Keep this in mind when you want to decide if you go for these lenses or not. I hope that this unboxing and review and my thoughts about the 155X anamorphic lenses from Bscript uh, uh, will help you make up your mind if you really want to get into this experience or not. And I'll see you next time here at American Seconds.